So this is my latest look, um, a more natural version of green. Start with a dark brown eyeliner. Work the liner into your lash line. Work around the corner of your eye and smudge with your finger until it's even across the lid. Now I'm going to use a terracotta coloured cream eyeshadow. Apply that to your eyelid and above the crease line, making sure that you apply it evenly and smudge the edges with a clean finger. Now we're ready for the green eyeshadow. With an eyeshadow brush or sponge, apply the green shadow to the lid. Note how I push the shadow in rather than just blend it. You want to get the colour on and then you fix up the lines. And a sister competes with her secretly and she writes in a journal things like these not all stove things are new to her. Next we're going to use the same eyeliner we did before, the dark brown, and work it into our lower lash line and across our top lash line. Then you blend it with a small brush. If you don't have a small brush, sometimes some eyeliners have a sponge on the end. You can use that instead. Also apply the eyeliner to the inner of your eye. Don't forget to clean up your mess. For a nice highlight on the eye, I'm going to use a gold shadow with a small fluffy brush. You can always use your finger, don't worry. I trim the trees above your room and I hummed a melody that you once knew when in Next I'm using a blonde grey based eyeshadow to define my brows. I'm using an angle brush with firm bristles. To keep brows in place I like to use brow gel or you can use regular gel with a mascara wand. Next a fluffy brush to apply the foundation. Apply to the centre of the face and blend outward. I foolishly recorded this video on the hottest day in Sydney, hence the redness. To cover up any skin indiscretions, we're going to use concealer. I like to apply it to any darkness around the eyes or any blemishes or redness. Just press it into the skin and blend the edges. To give myself a warm summer glow, I'm using a bronze cream on the cheeks. The unfamiliar hum along. While I'm applying it with a goat hair and acrylic brush, you can use your fingers if you don't have one of these. I don't really like the matte look to be honest, so I like a bit of sheen to my face but not too much. So with the lid, I just get the excess powder and put it where I've put concealer under my eyes and just powder down your T-zone with a brush. Next, your curlers. Walk your curlers from your lash line to the end of your lashes. And then give yourself a good coat of mascara. Powder your lashes for extra thickness if you like and curl again and apply again. We're going to finish off with a nice clear shimmery lip gloss. And ladies, we're done!
This is the final look.